293 in the world, and uh, here they are, just getting underway now. Robert Myers, of course, it's only a second clay court event. He lost to Kane. Getting too into this match, obviously, the, the, the Italian crowd will be looking to get excited. Steracci, of course, coming off um, a, a challenger win just, uh, just a week or so. It, uh, I, I think the start is all, all important in this match. And talking of starts, this is a, a very pacey start and a serve volley to finish off that first game. That, look at that. In under a minute, 59... And how Storacci felt when he won his first round match. Federer next. Marvellous. Bravo! Bravo! They're going to get into this kid if he won. And you sort of, you know, you want the match to... Be close in the yeah. early stages for his sake. Good player, experience, form. Born within three weeks of each other in the summer of 1981. It's a lovely repost, Leif. Yeah, and that, that's an important game, just to get yourself into the match. Mexico, when he won in Napoli, took him up a hundred places. Well, that's a nice play. Fence, and I think a little bit of a reminder for Federer that straight ahead attacking tennis against a veteran of the clay court war as well. It's going to have to be pretty good. So that's a nice play off the forehand. Good acceleration. Good slot. How to pick a player to coach, does that, Paul? Roger Federer, who has finished five. You know, I think we're so blessed with the... I think this one has probably made me laugh out loud the most. With Djokovic probably quite a close second. <laughs> oh, then of course there's Nadal. I bet they're well, formerly <laughs> mediocre. But some of the stuff these guys do, and this one. It's a delight. And you don't have to, if you adore him. Well, it's uh, quite something to watch, isn't it? Well, he's striking his backhand beautifully. Mohammed is in the here is good. Yeah. It's, it's, for me, it's going like... And this is what I think he really aimed at this year. Okay. And that's beautifully yeah, yeah, yeah. done. This is... This week, I think, this is a critical week for Roger. Amazing to think that this time in the calendar last year, he won five, he'd won Dubai, Rotterdam, Indian Wells, Madrid, he'd won four titles. Storacci to hang his hat on here. What I'm done. 15, 
Well, he had to work a little bit in that game, but uh, so far, this... Oh, yes, that's a great volley. He was on the stretch, and he played with control from the Federer backhand. Boy, how important is this game for the Italian? Just to get a... <laughs> okay. See, that's not a shot that many others play. Yeah, that's such a gift to be able to play with that kind of... Faro Italico. Memorable moment for Italian tennis. Wait, there was a delightful bit of analysis last week by Mark Petschi who was demonstrating that he's not going to give you points. He's not always going to hit to the lines when he has to, fine. But just Ask the question of lower rank guys again and again. Do you believe this or not? Hit within the lines, make no errors. It's all about doing the basics well. Nothing here was risky, nothing. Look at this, this is just plenty of hide over the net. More than enough so far tonight. Break point. Deuce is feeling pretty good right now. The man to fear in a pre... Mr. Hachi's fighting hard in this opening game. That is a bad play. You know, it gets Federer off his baseline. I mean, this is a point right here that Starachi should win, but he doesn't produce the best passing. Yes, indeed. The onslaught continues, and he was quickly on. The Australian Open this year. Yeah, and I, I sense from Federer, you know, too many practice sets. It just looks a little more determined. And obviously, this is a pretty good matchup for him. I think Federer knows how valuable this week is. And the winner between Mikhail Yuzhny and Gilles Simon. Break a serve to Federer in the second set. Four in Stard on clay.
<laughs> just a whisper of approval there. But enjoying just a little bit of something different. This is beautiful. A servant volley on clay. You get a low volley. At a couple of divisions below his opponent this evening, naturally, I suppose. This is some very fine footwork and court speed from Pistoretti again. Yeah, the Italian played a wonderful point. Federer was maintaining such length off the ground, and finally he just said, you know, there's a little... This is a lovely touch. That was a very big swing for a very little shot. And you just have to graze the ball with the strings. Come on, Petito. Ah, that's it, lad. Well done. That's a committee. Just sit next door. Starachi breaking into a little. That was a good return of serve. You know, he had love for the right things, but just happened to be drawn against Roger Feder, who is striking his backhand timing. What control. Do something special there. It's other end, and he, he talks about respecting his uh, opponents, just focusing on one opponent next. All this talk of the top four, he said, top table up front. Of matches tomorrow, yeah. one suspect Spanish Davis Cup per foe. And Andy Murray had the milestone win in Madrid, was his 400th career win. I know Thomas Burdick had that as well. Obviously, even if he wins the tournament, but it's getting close, could be happening in Paris. Yeah, very tidy. He's the biggins. So for this match in Rome. And it's really been no more than uh, a practice court workout. The crowd certainly in this. See how effective his serve has been tonight. to have seen more than uh, 50 minutes of this, but that's all we're going to get. And that is a consummate performance from Roger Federer. Not a hair out of place because it's too short, but not any sweat on the brow. There was only, well, there is only three weeks difference between them in age, but there is a gulf in class, I'm afraid, for Restorachi Federer. Need some matches, this was the first of uh, hopefully many.